Hey, I just showed up to do an inspection in Sandy Hook, Manitoba, and he's going four rows high, which is five foot four. And he's got a corbel block on the inside. If you swing the camera to the inside and take a look, you can see he's got a corbel edge on both sides. He's going to do a top cord bearing floor truss on that. And so he's filling this with concrete now, and he's actually drilled holes to the front face of that so we can see concrete come out. So those are the bleed holes for air. Uh, he's got all his plates for decks and everything already put on. He has no other bracing, so he's put just sort of a stiff back to the top of the wall. He could have lowered this a little bit, but this will work just fine. And the concrete's going to stay low in the wall because this, this is going to go all the way to the roof. He's actually going to have the peak is just under 30 foot tall. So we're going to come back and get a little bit of video on that. So today we're just going to place concrete into this beam here and, and then they'll carry on with their work. We're finished pouring. We poured it up to about this height, and you can see it was pretty wet as we poured. We had a little bit come out from the bottom here, but that was only because they started right here. After that, nothing came out all the way around. It was beautiful. Um, nothing really opened up. This side just did have this board screwed on, which helped. The other side did not, so we actually screwed a piece of wood on either side of the corner just because we knew the slump was so high. It was actually, it started at a 100 slump and they moved it up to a 175. That's a four inch slump they started and they went to about a seven inch slump with a super plasticizer. So right now it's coming back to the way it was and if you see here, we've got pieces of rebar and we put it in. And now it's holding. We had to wait for about 20 minutes for it to stiffen up enough so that we could put the reboring because it was falling right to the bottom. But now everything's good. It was a really good pour.